welcome to news update on Value Chain TV. I am Chat Moses with the news. And on the news update, hours after the Independent Electoral Commission announced the results for the Imo and Kogi state governorship elections, Nigerians have expressed mixed reactions over the outcome of the voting in most parts alleged to have been marred by irregularities against the backdrop of 18 billion naira allocated to the commission in the recent supplementary budget. Value Chain TV sought the views of some Nigerians on these. We have already lost our confidence in uh, INEC to conduct a fair and credible election to us. We have lost that in, uh, uh, confidence already. That is one. Two, Nigerians' opinions don't matter to anybody now. Whether we agree with it or not, it is what they want to do that they do. So there is nothing we can say now that will change the situation. No election in Nigeria, according to us Nigerians, that is perfect for now. There is no election that you can do that the oppositions, that they will not kick against. When the other opponent wins, the other opposition will say, ah, they have rigged the elections. And when it reverts to their own favor, they say, INEC is doing very fine. So what we are saying is that eh, INEC manage election, but INEC cannot vote and they cannot decide for the people. So from my own point of view, INEC is doing their best. It's for us to complement what INEC is doing. The Nigeria Liquefied Natural Gas Limited, NLNG, has dismissed a report on allegations that it has plans of totally shutting down operations and gas production during the yearly routine turnaround maintenance at its 622 million tons per annum capacity gas processing plant in Finama, Boni Island, River State. The company made the clarifications in a statement issued in response to the report, where it noted that it has no plans of shutting down operations at its facilities over a proposed maintenance operation scheduled for February or March 2024. General Manager, External Relations and Sustainable Development, Andy Ode at NLNG, explained that the report is false and that the company's commitment to the safe and uninterrupted functioning of its plants underscores the significance of routine turnaround maintenance, referred to technically as a shutdown. The company explained further that contrary to the assertions, a routine turnaround maintenance, while temporarily taking a specific train or unit offline for maintenance purposes, did not entail a complete shutdown of the entire plant. It said the meticulous planning and executions of the essential activity allows for the seamless transfer of production loads to unaffected trains, resulting in minimal impact on overall production. The Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited has restored the production of 275,000 barrels of oil per day, following the resolution of the long battle between oil operators and unions. This was disclosed in a joint press statement signed by Total Energy's Chief Executive Officer, Matthew Boyer, the President of the Petroleum Natural Gas Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, Pengasan, Festus Osifo, and the president of the Nigerian Union of Petroleum and Natural Gas, Nupeng, Williams Akureha. The release revealed that at the end of a marathon negotiation session, chaired by the executive vice president upstream of NNPCL, Oriseme Iwa Asan, the company brokered a peace deal between Total Energy's management, NNPC and Total Joint Venture Operator, Pengasan and Nupeng Workers. The Nigerian Exchange Limited Oil and Gas Index has outpaced others with over 100% gain following the price increase of petrol, diesel, among other products, and the federal government's reforms in the oil and gas sector. The reports. Analysis of market activity reveals that the NGX Oil and Gas Index appreciated by 108.23% year-till-date 
to 963.05 basis points. While the NGX alternative securities market emerged, the worst performing index dropping by 0.07% year till date. From 659.4 basis points, the stock market opened for 2023 to 658.99 basis points as of November 10, 2023. The performance of the NGX oil and gas index was boosted by investors' reaction to government's announcement of the removal of wealth subsidy, leading to a significant increase in the share prices of companies in the oil and gas sector of the NGX. The average retail price paid by consumers for PMS as of September 2023, according to National Bureau of Statistics, was at 626.21 Naira, indicating a 226.70% year-on-year increase when compared to 191 0.65 0.65 Naira recorded in September 2022. MBS also revealed that the average retail price of automotive gas oil or diesel paid by consumers increased by 12.77% on a year-on-year basis from a lower cost of 789.90 Naira per litre recorded in the corresponding month of last year to a higher cost of 890.90 Naira per litre in September 2023. Ibrahim Usman reporting for Value Chain TV. Minister of State for Defence, Bello Matawali, has blamed those he described as conflict entrepreneurs for being responsible for unending banditry in Nigeria's northeast. Machawale, who said this in an interview with the news agency of Nigeria in Abuja, noted that banditry has its economy, which is fueling the crime in the country. He added that conflict entrepreneurs do not want insecurity to end in the country and that many people in the north are part of the business. Value Chain TV spoke to some Nigerians on the issue. I feel like conflict entrepreneurs should come to the table that's why we have international peacemakers come to the table and stop encouraging these bandits. Because the more you, you provide um, access for them to have revenues to beverages, for them to even feed themselves, to have the basic amenities of resources of water and light, you are the one encouraging them to do this. Um, atrocities that they are committing. I think he must have had some what insight or some information that he may have with regards to what uh, that he is telling us here that the conflict entrepreneurs are benefiting more as a result of that. That is why we have all those problems. So for me, I felt one of the things that we need to do is that yes, really, if those people can be taken care of, at least it will help to bring security back into our country. It's not far from the truth. Because as a, the chief, chief, uh, chief, uh, chief security officer of the state, he had to say, if every, the security of the state is on his palm, he, he was talking from experience. And that is why he generalized it. He felt that it's happening in all the whole uh, states of nation, uh, the nation. I'm just in support of what the report is saying. But I think what is very much important is a way to control this insecurity in the nation. Because it's hampering a lot of development. You cannot move freely. And business activities are crippled because of this, because of this insecurity. That's it on the news update. I am Chat Moses. Thanks for staying with us.